Hey, this is Automate a lot, and in this video, I just want to show you really quick how to create a dynamic redirect in Unbounce using IntegroMed. So here, I just have a little form with one form field, and after this form is submitted, it should redirect to a Google search for the text entered into this field. Now, to get started, we first need a webhook. So let's go to IntegroMed, and here, I just have an empty scenario. So first, add a module, and in this case, a webhook where we use custom webhook as trigger. Let's call this search and click save. And now the webhook is waiting for data to determine the data structure. So let's copy this address to clipboard, go back to our landing page and as form confirmation, we select go to URL and paste our webhook URL here. And also we append form data to URL. Now, if you don't want to append all the form data, but only specific data, check out the video link down in the description. There I already created a video where I explain how to use a little JavaScript to only send specific form data to a webhook or other pages. But for now, let's click save and republish. Open the live page. And here you just have to enter a search or any value, let's use unbounce and click search now. And here we only get accepted as webhook response. And in IntegroMed, we see the data structure has successfully been determined. And now we have to add our redirect, which is another module, webhooks and a webhook response. And as status, you have to enter 303. Then you select show advanced settings and add an item under custom headers where your key has to be location with a capital L and the value is the URL you want to redirect to. So we wanted to create a Google search. So we enter HTTPS colon double slash google.com slash search question mark Q equals and then the search for value we get from our unbounce form. And now click add and OK. And that's it. Now, if I run the scenario once, go back to the form and again enter search for unbounce, I can now click search now and we get redirected to a Google search for unbounce. And if I run the scenario again with a different search, for example, whether in London. we get the weather for London. And of course you can enter any automation you want in here. So for example, you can use your unbounce data to create a PayPal payment and then redirect the user for checkout to PayPal. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you really liked it and want to see more of our stuff, subscribe to the channel. And for feedback and questions, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you ASAP. See you next time.